The push to empower minority communities is underway with the ongoing changes we've been seeing from the Black Lives Matter movement. Joining us now is Kerry Neal, a board member with the San Bernardino Valley College Foundation to talk about his experience being in a leadership role and the need to see more minorities take higher positions of power. Kerry, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's get right to it. These last few months have been a time of reckoning and awakening in the United States and really across the globe. So what changes moving forward do you hope to see? What changes do you expect to see? Well, first of all, I think it's fantastic of the conversations that are now taking place that we in the African-American community have long to uh, see occur. So this has been fantastic. So we need more conversations about some of the dynamics, some of these microaggressions, uh, the uh, systemic racism and discrimination that's going on, uh, and the role that non-minorities play a role in perpetuating it. Yeah, and, and being a board member there, what have you felt personally, and what kind of changes are you hearing from your fellow board members about what needs to change in this environment? Certainly. Well, first of all, I want to say that uh, I am proud to represent ABLE, which is an acronym for the African American Board Leadership Institute, and they exist uh, and they aim to increase active participation of African Americans on governing boards. I think what's important is that there's more African American representation on boards so we can begin to broaden the discussion uh, because all too often non minorities uh, tend to uh, set the tone and uh, do what they believe is in the best interest for our community and they're not even connected or involved in our community. So it's incumbent and important for us to be at the table to talk about the variety of things that impact our community. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure in getting ideas across, but also just having representation, having people look at the board and see it reflect the population of, of say, a school or a community as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, as a result of my work with ABLE, it allowed me to be in position to be appointed to the San Bernardino Valley College Foundation Board Directors, where I am championing the causes for the educational causes for the underrepresented and low income uh, students of the region. Yeah, well, let's talk about the Board Leadership Institute. How can people get in touch? Um, what can people do if they if they find themselves in a position where they need help from the Institute? Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, just in time, there's a new board leadership program that's coming up and that's scheduled for August 6th through the 22nd of August via Zoom because everything's virtual now. Uh, and to register, just go to ABLI, which is spelled A-A-B-L-I dot O-R-G. And feel free to register and be a part of the movement. Perfect. Karen Neal from the San Bernardino Valley College uh, Board. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, stay safe this 4th of July holiday and we appreciate the work that you're doing. Thanks so much. All right, thank you.